Hi guys, this is Thunder E from BorderWork.com and today we'll be doing an overview and uh, first look at the Asus Maximus 6 Genie. This is the micro ATX uh, version of the Maximus series uh, boards for the Republic of Gamers. So this is a gaming centric board. And the reason why we're showing you this is because we'll be doing a build very soon using this board. So I just wanted to show you the board itself and all that, you know, comes with it so um this retails for 209 right now at new egg uh, you can find it there probably cheap in some other places now this is uh supports the intel um haswell processor so this supports fourth generation intel chips as you can see also supports 4k resolution um, sli as well as crossfire open this up you can see it gives you some more information on there it's got ram disk it's also got the visual bios which is pretty cool some bundle software include kaspersky antivirus and uh, daemon tools pro standard which daemon tools yes i like kaspersky uh not so much anyway let's go ahead and open this up so we do have this plastic covering over this we can take that out set that aside uh, careful there with the board what else do we have in here? So we have a few things. Of course, we have your um, back cover for your case, for your SLI um, um, connector. You've also got some pin connectors, of course, uh, for your USB, as well as your power LED and all that fun stuff. Um, we've got this, uh, basically got a micro PCI uh, card slot here, so you can add things like uh, um, other connectors to your, to your board. We've got some SATA cables here. Actually comes with a, a double sets, about six SATA cables. Um, we've got some hard drive stickers here so you can identify which hard drive is which. Do not disturb a SUS, which is nice. So as well as a user guide. User guide and uh, the Genie CD here. So a lot of things to go over in terms of uh, box contents. And uh, we'll set that aside. And let's take a look at our board here. So let's peel this out. Let's see what we have. Give us a sec here. Make sure we take this out properly. Um, this is very tight. It's very, very tight setup there, Jesus. Thank you. Appreciate it. But I would love to have easy access to my board. So. The board here is resting on a flat panel here, and we'll take a look. So this board supports uh, a CPU that, of course, has um, integrated graphics uh, like the Haswell processor. And you can see it supports up to, um, you have your four uh, DIMM slots, up to 32 gigabytes of RAM, um, uh, PC3, up to 3000 megahertz, which is pretty cool. You've got also your Serial 88 ports here um for your hard drive so you've got a bunch of them i believe let me see one two three four five six six ports here for your hard drives your ata and you see you've got two pci slots here which what we're going to do with this we're going to be doing a um an intel build for hdpc so we have a graphics card as well as a um tv card tv tino card here now on the other side of the board you can see it's a much smaller board you do have an on power cycle um and then you have USB uh, 3.0s here. You've actually got six of those, and you've got four USB uh, 2.0s, and of course, some other USB 2.0 slots here. Uh, Ethernet, uh, Gigabit Ethernet, HDMI out, uh, optical, as well as some audio ports. So that's the board, that's how it looks, giving you guys a rough idea and feel of the Asus uh, Maximus Genie 6, Genie 6. Um, yeah, if you guys have any questions, um, let us know. Also, let us know um, what you think, and um, and you can probably guess what parts we're going to use in this build. Uh, I can't wait to actually show you. It's going to be a pretty awesome build um, for us. But uh, that's pretty much what we have here on the board. So, uh, if you have any questions or any comments, let us know. Uh, don't forget to subscribe to all our pages on Twitter, Facebook, and YouTube. It's all border work with two O's. So, Slender E saying thank you, and always enjoy entertainment.